All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Julie Ben Fish Academy. Um, you can see over there the head of a fish. You know, he has been attacked and he's dead. Now, this is what we call cannibalism caught on camera. Um, let's zoom this very well and see what they are actually doing to this catfish. Um, I've lost the head right now. Oh, all right, beautiful. Now, if you pay very much attention, you see how they are busy feasting on this particular catfish head. I've lost track right now. Beautiful. Now have a good look. Everyone comes, get his own bite, and disappears. This is really, really horrible. Look at that one. He has taken the whole head in his mouth. Oh, these guys are pretty crazy, man. He has vomited it. Cannibalism indeed is in their nature. They are always bound to cannibalize, feed on their own species. Whether you give them food or not, forget about it. Cannibalism is inevitable. <laughs> Crazy boy. <laughs> He actually scared me by touching my eyes. Now one of them have colonized it. If not because the head is too big, they would have swallowed it by now. Now this is exactly how they are going to feed on it one after the other until they have finished the whole flesh found in his head. Then the bony part that they are unable to feed on is what is going to remain at the end at the bottom when you are changing water. These guys are pretty hungry. I'm going to feed them anyway. But I just decided to shoot this video because uh, I think uh, I like what they are doing. But unfortunately, they are actually dealing with one of their species. Of course, the fish farmer is the one losing. <laughs> it's fun anyway. Alright, feeding time. Um, I give them a mixture of uh, 0 0.2, or let me say 2.0 and uh, 4 mm. Yes, they are just... Uh, a month and uh, a month and three weeks old. They can fight for Africa when it comes to food. But you may wonder what is this? This is their FBC, floating bitter leaf container. Inside this, you find bitter leaf that you know sterilizes the pond and keeps them away from bacterial infections. The bitter leaves are raw; they are not washed. What I mean, they are not washed, is that it's not extracted to get the bitter content. It's just there permanently to render the tank a little bit green and uh, free it from any form of bacteria. And by so doing, mortality rate in your catfish is highly truncated. Alright, let's take it to the other side of the pond. These guys are also hungry. Whoa, come on, take it easy. There's enough food for everyone. Come on, relax, relax. There's gonna be enough food for everyone.
these guys can eat for Africa. We will feed them and feed them and feed them until they're almost done with your feet. And you'll be forced to go and buy another one. Anyway, the best way to know that they are satisfied is when you drop and it takes quite some little time before um, they feed on what is remaining at the surface of the water. Then you will know that they have almost gotten to their saturation level. But for now, the guys are still hungry. Yeah, gradually getting satisfied. You know, the rush is reducing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Julian Fish Academy. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do what to subscribe. Click the bell notification so that you get notified each time we upload videos on our channel. And once again, this is truly Ben Fish Academy. Do have a lovely weekend. These guys are not done with this head. They are indeed good to cannibalize. I don't want to take it off the comb. I just want to allow them to enjoy themselves. Um, after all, they have succeeded in killing him. And uh, <laughs> see that bomb come. He has taken the whole head. And he wants to run away with it. Where are you planning to go with? <laughs> oh god, these guys are crazy. <laughs> Alright, see you then.